Hey there, Robert Biggerstaff here, and I'm all about creating financial independence for myself, and that way I'm more beneficial to others and able to help other people as well. One of the best investments you can do, in my opinion, is invest in yourself. My goal this year was to read 52 books from January 1st to, January, to December 31st. This is book number 34, number 35. Um, I didn't find it to be that very beneficial, so to speak. Um, for the amount of time that it takes to read it, I think you can probably pick another book that's gonna give you more bang per buck, so to speak. Um, scale of one to 10, I'd put it at about a six. And, um, you know, I'm not a critic, I'm not a professional book reviewer or anything of that nature, just a regular Joe Schmo trying to do better in this day and time. Um, you know, there are some good points in it. Um, you know, so, and it's not a very thick book, so it's a quick read. I think it took me about four days to do it. It was kind of dry. Um, you know, it, uh, basically it comes down to is, is, you know, it just talks more about money habits and what, uh, you know, rich people do versus unsuccessful people or poor people do, you know. Rich people have libraries. Poor people have TVs, you know, multiple TVs, things to occupy and hijack your time that are not beneficial that really don't do anything for us other than entertain us you know so like i said it um wasn't that great of a book have yourself a wonderful day if i can be of any assistance please send me a letter send me a comment i will respond this is the no pay no stay network please subscribe and share have a wonderful day